uh, before we, we get on to our conversation, I'd like to do a quick introduction on uh, who Raimin is. Uh, Mohammed Raimin, uh, let, let me read a few facts about him. He's the production unit manager in utilities assets in BLNG, uh, civil engineer by uh, profession, over 20 years in the oil and gas industry. Uh, his background includes civil engineering, maintenance, execution, and project engineering. And uh, he has spent four years in, uh, in the Netherlands uh, on uh, uh, reliability engineering. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but you have to, uh, <laughs> you, you, you have to brief us on that. Uh, right, I mean, uh, why, why are you an engineer? <laughs> and why Shell? Is it because, uh, let's answer the second question. Is it because it pays more? That's why you work for BLNG and, 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 and the oil and gas industry? No, I actually, funnily enough, I started uh, as a government scholar. So meaning I got the opportunity to actually get to study overseas um, uh, with the government. So, you know, hoping at the end of the day, there would be a government job waiting for me. Um, that didn't really pan out as well. Uh, it's a similar situation. So I graduated 99, uh, started hunting for jobs, you know, in 2000. And mm -hmm. during that period uh, in Brunei, at least, there was a, uh, the, a lot of the jobs, government jobs were actually uh, filled up. Um, so those who are familiar with the whole Amadeo company and everything. Yes, so, yes, yes. Yeah, so, so during, it was during that period. Uh, and, and the Amadeo company actually hired a lot of... Uh, um, people and the thing is when that you know fell through uh, they, they entered into uh, other jobs and, and so the job market was totally uh, full um, so I had difficulty getting a job uh, and, and, and then it came down to okay where can I go you know uh, and that, that's only the, the time I started thinking okay look what are my options here uh, mm -hmm. so all this time you know I've been saying okay you know government do a government job you know that, that was right. kind of like my short-sighted kind of thinking. But were you, uh, uh, you know, when you were job hunting, that means you were graduated from an engineering degree then? Yes, yes. I was already a graduate and I was already being told that uh, there are no jobs available. I can start oh, to yeah. apply to government departments. So that's what mm -hmm. I started doing, you know, over those periods. I remember applying to about 40 departments oh, uh, yeah. with but a civil engineering is... degree. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Including fisheries. Uh, actually, I tried finance. Who knows, right? I like maths too, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, thank you very much. Why are you not an engineer? <laughs> Same thing, right? You can ask me why am I not finance also. That, that's um, true, that's true. I, I think, yeah, so, so with maths, I think you're quite um, versatile. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, 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 it teaches you in terms of logic, how to think, uh, how to solve problems. So that basic element is there, you know, it's a building block for anything. So it's you a know, good baseline. I'm always jealous when people say they're good at math. <laughs> I wouldn't say uh, we're good at maths, you know, it's like uh, you can, it clicks, you know, you understand it a bit, un, a bit that's better. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It never clicked for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, the creative types have another advantage though, because sometimes people who do maths, they know, they know how to get one plus one is two. Uh, mm -hmm. But the creative types can figure out other ways to get to the number two, right? Uh, There's a saying that, um, you, who says accountants are not creative? When it comes to tax time, they are the most creative people in the world. Uh, do you agree, Pangramas? Yes, sometimes engineer over complicated, uh, over complicated things. Over engineer, I mean. Sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> and then she I have a feeling that it might turn into a debate session afterward. Uh, before I hand the mic over to Pigram Mars to answer some question, um, what, why, why did you choose engineering? Is it, uh, you know, is there more to you, uh, you know, liking maths? What, why uh, so yeah, it, it, it kind of stems from that again. So uh, really, you know, for, for everyone else also listening, it's, it's like go into things that um, you, you're good at so so mm -hmm. that actually helps so uh, i enjoyed maths uh, i enjoyed physics so with that combination you know when you ask your teachers what normally at the time uh, what, what should i do be doing mm -hmm. uh, and then the answer normally will say mm, engineering okay so so i kind of knew a path and one which way i wanted to go but mm -hmm. what kind of engineering was also still a question mark for me uh, cool. so you can yeah Please continue. Please. So, so I was I was just looking into other, you know, okay, what engineers? So many other en engineering's uh, in the world that you can do. Um, 
and and for me it's like you know it's uh, I don't know if it's just me or it's just guys uh, thinking that I don't I don't really think as far ahead. But uh, I thought, okay, I know I want to do engineering, and I, I did some tests, you know, online that you can see what kind of engineer should you be, and right. it. And it gave me a list of few things. And the first one I, I saw was aeronautical. I thought, aeronautical, yeah. where can I use that in Brunei? You know? Right, like... Ramin, Ramin, before we get yes. too deep into uh, the different kind of engineers, oh, that yeah. be, you know, let's say if we have audience who are 16 year old right now, like yep. me, they have no idea what the word engineer even means. Oh, How would you okay. Explain it to, to people who have no idea at all. So, simply, um, yeah. Doing? Yeah. Simply, I guess the engineer is the person who finds a solution to a problem. Um, you know, when you have an issue with you, an engineer is the, in, in our era, you would be the MacGyver, right? So I don't know if everybody understands <laughs> that, but yeah, probably <laughs> Sean. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so you can already tell how old we are. Yes, um, so yes. so we're, we're in that MacGyver kind of, uh, where you're, you're, you're the one who provides the solution to things. Um, mm -hmm. when, when, when there's something to improve on a car, right? Mm -hmm. Just as an example, the, the engineer would be the one who thinks about, okay, how can I make the car run better? Why, why is the car not running smoothly anymore? So trying to figure out that is what an engineer does. He figures out something that there's, a, there's an issue, there's a problem, and we try to solve that. Do, do you all, you know, design the engine though? Is that what engineers does? So maybe a mechanical engineer might uh -huh. do that. So that's why there's different types of engineering. Uh, with a civil engineer, like with my background, you know, you're talking about uh, the built environment. So you talk about, you know, the, the stresses that are, uh, can, can a basically a, a structure stand on its own? Uh, an engineer, a civil engineer would need to figure that out. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can build anything. So you can imagine uh, building a skyscraper. Um, a civil engineer would need to go in and find out and say, okay, uh, will this structure actually be able to withstand the, the winds and the movements of the soil? So that sort of uh, issue. So a civil engineer would try to figure that one out. I, I can understand why you need a lot of maths in that. Yeah, that's kind of why you need it. <laughs> Before we get back to Pangram Mars, I, I want to know if I want to get into any oil and gas company within Brunei or beyond, what kind of engineering should I be studying? Oh, okay. So um, mechanical engineers uh, are actually quite uh, required. So if you just specifically for Brunei LNG, uh, Brunei LNG, uh, we're an LNG site. And currently right now, if you're looking at the engineering types that we have, so we have civil engineers, we have mechanical engineers, Mm -hmm. uh, we have chemical engineers, actually a lot of them, uh, and, mm -hmm. and the, the chemical engineers uh, actually support, you know, the, the processes of what we're doing. Uh, we have rotating engineers uh, who actually look into pumps, generators and turbines, electrical engineers and instrumentation engineers. Mm -hmm. uh, I, th I would say that those are the main uh, pool that we have. Right. So if I was to follow that guideline, I should be able to get into an engineering job. Inshallah, but of course, you know, there, there are a lot of engineers in the world, right? Uh, but yes, so if you're looking at what we have in terms of gaps as of today, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there are about four areas that we are actually looking out for. So electrical engineers, rotating uh, equipment engineers, mm -hmm. mechanical engineers, and also uh, chemical engineers. Those right. are the four which we have um, current gaps for. Okay, I hope our uh, audience are taking note of that. <laughs> 